Hey everyone, it's Mark Phillip here at Studica, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can bring a height map into Lumion 8.3 to um, create a terrain. So <clears throat> what you'll have by the end of this is something that looks similar to this. Uh, we have our terrain here with our elevations and everything set up, and this is all coming from a height map that's based on uh, GIS data. What a height map is, is basically what you see here. Um, it's essentially an image that's just black and white, and your elevations are determined by how white or black a specific pixel is at any given point. So, for instance, this spot right here is going to be higher than this spot right here. Uh, this area right here might be more of like a valley, right? And this area right here is more of a hill or a mountain. Um, so this is something that's used quite frequently in terrain generation for things such as video games or uh, architectural design, civil engineering, and things like that. And the first thing we want to do is actually get our height map. And one of the best sites I've found for this is called terrain.party. And the way this site works is if you, you can zoom out with your mouse wheel, you basically have an entire, you have the whole world here, every continent. And uh, you can go to the area you want and basically zoom in, kind of like Google Maps. And uh, I'm going to zoom in on Yosemite Valley here, or Yosemite National Park. And what we can do is move this around. This blue thing, blue square I should say, is going to be the area that you capture the height map of. And you can change the size from a minimum of 8 kilometers and go pretty large. I'm not quite sure where this ends. Um, but say I want to capture most of the valley, right? I'll, I'll do 60 kilometer area here. And so if I zoom out, I can see that area. I'm going to be grabbing a pretty huge height map from this. Um, let's narrow down more on just the Yosemite Valley area. So let's bring our kilometers down. Really low here. Pretty much going to want uh, almost as small as you can get it. Right about there, 12 kilometers. And then all you need to do is um, basically click this export button. Um, before that, you can see the map view if you want. You can go up here and choose USGS shaded relief. You can also do topographic imagery. Um, I'm going to keep it on OpenStreetMap and choose download. I'm just going to call this Yosemite and hit OK. And the website's going to basically queue that up for me and then download the file into a zip. Um, called Yosemite Terrain. And I'll go ahead and extract this. And uh, now what I'm going to do is you'll see all of the height maps in here. So I can double click on these and look at all of them. And uh, generally, I'm going to choose the one that seems to have the best resolution. And if I'm kind of looking through these, the Yosemite height map merge looks pretty good. Um, so does the USGS NED file. I think I'm going to go with the merged file and we'll see how that looks. So let's go into Lumion. So uh, I'm going to flatten my terrain out. So you should create a new scene that's just flat. And then you're going to want to go to your landscape tools here on the left. And then we're going to click load terrain map. And I'm going to go to my downloads and we'll go into Yosemite Terrain and I'm going to double click on the merged file. And there you have it. Uh, the terrain has been imported and we basically have the Yosemite Valley uh, terrain in here uh, in Lumion. And so now we can start building on it and do what we want to do. So that's how you bring in the terrain and then you can do whatever else you want to do to it. So if I want to raise you know, certain parts of the terrain, I can go ahead and keep doing that. Uh, what's also interesting with using height maps is if I wanted to, um, I can bring this into GIMP here, for instance, or Photoshop or whatever. Uh, I could alter this height map and, you know, do what I want to do with it. So maybe um, I'll take this white and kind of make it a little bit grayish. And then uh, I can just write like, Hi, and uh, I can export this out into my Yosemite. I'll just call it test.png. 
we'll export that and uh, let's flatten our terrain map and load our terrain map now and we'll go back into test PNG and what you'll notice is uh, that area where I put high is now on the terrain <laughs> So you can do some fun stuff with height maps. Of course, most people using Lumion are going to be using it for architectural visualization. And so you're likely going to be wanting to use just the GIS data and uh, maybe modify the color levels a little bit instead of doing something ridiculous like this. But that's just to kind of show you how you can manipulate the blacks and whites to create the terrain you want. Um, more than likely, what you'd be doing at most would be something like um, manipulating the color curves or the level curves so that you can get higher or lower elevations um, overall like this. So that's going to conclude this uh, demonstration. Hopefully this is helpful for you. And um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on the video. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.